The family-run business owned by Tony and Jay Smith started two years ago after a trip to Thailand inspired them to bring the familiar Thai site of tuk-tuks to the streets of Liverpool. With initially just two electric vehicles at their disposal, the company soon developed and with the support of Liverpool City Council and the Albert Dock, where they operate from, the husband and wife team subsequently gained a further four petrol tuk-tuks in various colours from pure white to bold pink. From karaoke with glasses of bubbly for hens and stag do's to weddings and even airport transfers, the site garnished a great deal of attention throughout the city and beyond, even as far as the den. I caught up with the team to find out how they endured one of the toughest business meetings of all, pitching in front of the Dragons. Seconds before um, walking out the lift, they changed the way that we was meant to operate. Uh, myself, Jay and, my, and, and Linda, my manager, we should have all gone onto the set together. We should have all pitched together. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, seconds before, um, they just wanted me and my wife to go out there. So we, we left the lift, we went onto the set, we now had to put the dragons into the tuck, as you saw on telly. We drove them across the set and brought them back. And then we was interrogated by Peter Jones. Uh, it was surreal being on there. It was nerve wracking, but I've watched it for the last 10 years. It was amazing. And although they were shouting at us and saying we didn't know what we was doing and everything else, it was just surreal being there. And I think I was smiling on the, you know, on the telly all the time, pretty much. But uh, they, they turned around and asked us about, uh, you're the manager, you should know your figures we want them from you. Now, I actually, as you saw on the telly, turned around and said, look, I'm head of operations, I make this happen. Um, my wife's head of administration, she puts things together, and the lady that you want's in the lift, as you saw on the TV. Um, then when Linda did get invited to the den because of Deborah Meadham, um, she came out and she didn't really know what had happened over the last few minutes. And it, was, it all sort of went to pot, really. So no matter what we said on the den, it was never going to happen. It was a bit like the Green Mile when I walked in. <laughs> um, but it was very intense. Lots of questions thrown at me. And unfortunately, I fluffed a few figures. And then if you'd have asked me my name, I would have not been able to tell him what it was. <laughs> I knew the figures inside out. And I do know the figures inside out. Um, but when they fired at you in the way that they are, it is quite, it is quite <laughs> challenging. Despite not getting the investment needed, which was £65,000 for 20% of the business, the constructive feedback has been taken well on board and are already looking to push the corporate market themselves and import vehicles from their supplier in Thailand to the UK to help those across the country with similar businesses by selling the illustrious tuk-tuks to help companies avoid going through the difficulties they went through along the way. However, let's not take away the all-important publicity that city tuk-tuks have been exposed to, having appeared on the Renal TV show. It was a super experience uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll remember for the whole of my life, whatever happens, it's brilliant PR for us. And it got us to show our lovely tuk-tuks to so many people and, you know, they're just fabulous, aren't they? So it, it was well worthwhile and it was, it was a really good experience. And as a team, we went in, the three of us, and we came out as a team. With spirits higher than ever and the future of the business looking bright, had the reaction been different that day? Which dragon would they have gone for had there been an interest in the den? It's a hard question because they changed three of the dragons as you saw this year. Um, and Peter and Deborah were the only dragons that have been in. I think they've been in for 10 years or since the start. So from a leisure and tourist industry background, it was always going to be Deborah. And as you saw, she tried to say I'm out two or three times uh, and I turned around and gave her another option to invest. but. It, it was what it was, it was just, it was great, but I, I'd have liked to take an investment from Deborah. I'd have liked Peter and Deborah, but when Peter started ripping us on the telly, I thought, you know what, we're not friends anymore. But Deborah was always on the, on the forefront of mine and Jay's mind, and we knew that's where we wanted the investment from. So if Deborah's watching this program, if she wants to reinvest, then she knows where we are. Nathan Griffiths, Beatty for Liverpool.